Welcome back to The Lemon Factor. I'm Chad, and today I'm here with one of our two project cars, the 2019 Honda Accord 2.0 Touring. And we're gonna talk about one of the most popular and biggest bang for the buck power adders when it comes to the 10th generation Honda Accord, and that would be an ethanol kit. So about a year ago, I installed our PRL flex fuel kit. I ran the K-Tuner, Stage two with ethanol enabled, definitely noticeable power gains. Later, we upgraded our turbo to the Kuro, and I had a custom tune, both on 91 octane, as well as a, about a 33% ethanol blend. And I have been running ethanol in one form or another for about a year now. And for some of you, I'm sure you've been running it even longer. It quickly became one of the most popular power adding upgrades. I have on our project car here, the original PRL flex fuel kit. Now I purchased this used and at the time I knew, I heard about problems that several people had experienced and in which PRL acknowledged the possibility of the fuel lines degrading over time. The ethanol itself breaking down the inner part of the hose, causing flakes in the fuel system. Could damage injectors, and worst case, although I haven't heard this, a damaged injector could impact the fueling of a cylinder, and quite possibly you could have a damaged motor from this. I think that's a huge miss on PRL's part. I think they should have known that and provided the appropriate hoses with the original kit. But they did come out, they did have a release in which they informed people, although they consider it a wear item. I think that's a bunch of bullshit. They should have replaced the original hoses with the appropriate FTPE hoses from the beginning for free. They didn't do that. Instead, they released an upgrade to the kit. And at the time that I purchased this and installed it, their upgrade only consisted of the long hose, which I did originally put in there. But it did not consist of the short hose. Now, there are other companies out there that replaced both of them, and they're quite expensive. I want you to be aware that if you're running an older PRL flex fuel kit, you need to be aware of what hoses you are running with this kit. If you are running the older hoses, stop using ethanol now and replace them. Replace them. I'm still using this smaller hose at the top here. And in today's video, I'm going to fix that problem. I'm gonna open up that hose and I'm gonna see if we have any degradation in that hose. I haven't experienced any problems, knock on wood here. So as a solution, like I said, I already bought the upgraded longer hose, so I wasn't going to buy a whole nother kit just to get that shorter hose in there. But I did see online on uh, one of the Facebook pages, one of the members was selling uh, a small kit, uh, both replacement hoses there, and I did reach out to see if they were willing to sell just the, the shorter part. And they did, so I purchased the shorter part. And what's pretty neat about it is it also comes with a fuel pressure gauge. Part of the install, I'm going to open up that hose, see if there's any degradation, and I hope not. Now the thing is, I've been running it for about a year. I don't run ethanol, I don't run an ethanol blend all the time. So I'm hoping, I'm really hoping that because of that, I'm not gonna see any degradation. But let's see how easy this is to install and let's see if I have any issues with our existing PRL hose.
Now let's see if there's any deterioration in the existing hose. It looks pretty good to me. Yeah, I don't see any signs. I don't know if you can see that. That looks really clean, so that makes me feel better. However, I feel a lot more confident having this in here that maybe this just hasn't de deteriorated because I haven't given enough time. Maybe. Regardless, highly advise, if you're not gonna get one of these, get a replacement PTFE, an appropriate hose for this, for the ethanol blend so it does not break down. I wanna take this opportunity to mention our merch store located on Etsy. I'll leave a link in the description below. Go take a look. We have t-shirts related to our two project cars, the 10th generation Honda Accord and the Toyota Supra. If you like something there, please consider purchasing. Consider supporting the channel by purchasing some merch. Let's pop in the fuse, plug in the battery, start the car, check for any leaks, and yeah, we'll see how everything works. Everything looks good. With that said, I think we're done for today. Thank you very much for joining and until next time.